And here are some practice problems dealing with integrals. And I'll just work through these in order. The integral of 4x cubed dx, well, you might recognize that that is simply x to the fourth. And we put in the plus c. And you can see this is correct because the derivative of x to the fourth is 4x cubed. The integral of x to the seventh is x to the eighth over 8 plus c. This is the power rule for integrals. We raise the exponent by 1 and then divide by the new exponent. The integral of 3t to the negative fourth, well the 3 can stick around, a, a constant multiplier can pop out front, and then we take our variable t, which in this case is just raised to a power, so we increase the power by 1, so that becomes a t to the negative 3, and divide by the new exponent, which is negative 3. And the 3's cancel, leaving the negative sign right there. So this is negative t to the negative 3. Or you could write that as a negative 1 over t cubed, which of course would be equivalent. And you need the plus c, whether you leave your answer in this form or in this form, either way is okay, but you need the plus c on there, either way. Okay, a few more. The integral of 56x to the 2.5, well, that will be 56 times x to the 3.5 divided by 3.5. And we can simplify that. 56 divided by 3.5 works out to 16. So this is 16 x to the 3.5 plus c. All right, the next one, uh, 6z to the negative 3 fifths dz. OK, uh, well, the 6 stays around. And the z to the negative 3 fifths, we can increase the exponent by 1. And negative 3 fifths plus 1 is 2 fifths, positive 2 fifths. So this is z to the 2 fifths. And we divide by the new exponent. So we divide by 2 fifths. And that's, of course, the same as multiplying by 5 halves. So 6 times 5 halves is 30 halves, or 15. So this is 15z to the 2 fifths plus c. And the next one, this one's simple. The integral of cosine x is simply sine x plus c. And the integral of sine x is going to be negative cosine x. And we still need the, the plus c, negative cosine x plus c. And then the next one, the integral of sine of 5t dt. Well, the integral of the sine function is the negative cosine function. But we have this extra factor of 5 that we're going to need to compensate for. So we need to divide by 5. So it's negative 1 fifth cosine of 5t plus c. Let's just check this by taking the derivative. The derivative of this is going to be negative 1 fifth times the derivative of cosine 5t, which would be negative sine 5t, times the derivative of 5t, which would be 5. And so you can see these two negative signs here will cancel out, and the 5's will cancel out and we'll, we'll be left with sine of 5t. So that's good, that's our answer. And then the integral of 2 cosine 5x dx, okay, well the integral of the cosine function is the sine function, so let's try sine of 5x. Okay, and if we differentiate this, we will get cosine of 5x, times 5 by the chain rule. So we don't need a factor of 5, we need a factor of 2. So we need to divide by 5 and multiply by 2. 
And we can check this. The derivative of this should be that, if this is correct. So the derivative of this will be 2 fifths times cosine 5x times 5. And that's right. Those 5s will cancel, and we get exactly that. And then there's one more here. The integral of 3r plus 6 squared dr. Okay, let's solve this. Well, the integral of 3r plus 6 squared is probably going to be something like 3r plus 6 cubed. So if we take the derivative of this, hopefully we'll get that or something real close. And the derivative of this involves the chain rule, the power rule and the chain rule. The derivative would be 3 times 3r plus 6 to the power of 2 times the derivative of the inner function. So times 3 again. So to make this derivative come out to actually be this, we need to get rid of this 3 and that 3. So we divide by 9 or put a 1 ninth out there. And that's the answer, 1 ninth 3r plus 6 cubed.